We have something to offer. We have something to say. The only language they're capable of speaking is the language of force. And it exposes them for who they are. It's not just. And it's not fair. And uh, as somebody who has had to struggle with PTSD when I left to get arrested in Washington a couple of years ago, but the, my, my wife's parting words when I left the house was, just promise me you won't hit a cop. Um, you, you can't. You have to, you know, one of the things that's fascinating about when we've done these uh, uh, arrests in, out front, in front of the White House with Veterans for Peace is that most of the uh, Washington, D.C. police force, I think is true for many police forces, they're in the National Guard and they've all been to Iraq and Afghanistan. And they treated the veterans with incredible deference. And actually, as we had the cuffs put on our hands behind our back, a lot of the police would say, keep doing what you're doing because these wars stink. That is exactly, I think, a glimmer of, of what's happening within the structures of control. In New York City,